All right, so boys and girls, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here because this is gonna be one of those conversations in which if you've been following me for quite some time, you know I can get very transparent and I can at times get raw and be authentic. If you have seen some of my podcasts, you know that I have done many things such as Devil's Advocate, Segments such as Sean versus Antoine, which is really I was talking about my alter ego. And if I can even be even more transparent, I was very hesitant <laughs> on having this conversation with you all. However, the spirit, as I was taking the shower, the spirit then dropped into me and said, come up with this topic, the life of an entrepreneur. And I was like, mm, I really don't know. You know, it's a Friday, it's a holiday season. You know, how people are going to take it? And yet, it was confirmed again to do Life of an Entrepreneur. So here we go, family. Transformation Greatness, along with the Small Business Network Podcast, presents to you episode 165. And we're going to be talking about this topic, the Life of an Entrepreneur. And before we even go ahead and get started, I just want to say last night was definitely a excellent podcast. I want to thank my guest, D. Cheryl Blunt, on really just coming on board and just delivering such an authentic, raw, and real interview. It was truly amazing. I believe a lot of people got blessed because of that. And if you didn't have the opportunity to watch that podcast, I highly recommend for you to go on my page and take a look at that because it was something special. It really, really was. It really, really was. And if you're an individual, if you're an entrepreneur or someone that really has a story, a message, a brand, and you want to have a platform and be a guest and come on board, by all means, please feel free to reach out to me, send me a, a message here on Facebook, on Facebook Messenger, and let's go ahead and make that happen because that was so good, so good, and we're going to have a part two. Mm, how about that? So do me a favor, if you will. If you're catching this live, put in hashtag live, and if you are catching this on a replay, go ahead and put in hashtag replay. Just a quick introduction, guys, and let's go ahead and get into this. Once again, my name is Sean A. White. I am the founder and creator of a brand which is called Transformation Greatness, which is all about motivating, encouraging, and inspiring the masses. And with that, it consists of me as being a speaker, a life purpose coach, hypnother hypnotherapist, um, practitioner, in addition, a radio and TV personality with the Small Business Network with my good friend, Dr. James McConnell, and I have many other different hats as well. I want to get into this, the life of an entrepreneur. You know, and this is the reason why that I've been hesitant as far as with sharing this. Because when we think of entrepreneur, especially what we see on social media, most of the times, right, on, on our feeds, you will see as far as for the results. You will see as far as those saying like how you can make 10,000, 20,000 in a month. You can make a hundred grand a month. You can, heck, 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 you can even make a million a month, right? And that's all true. A hundred percent correct because there are individuals that are doing that on a daily basis. There are millionaires that's being created at a record pace during these times. All that's totally valid. But also, what they don't share, and this is what I want to come and talk to you about, is that the life of an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart, ladies and gentlemen. What do I mean by that? What I mean is, is that when you commit and say that you are an entrepreneur, whether you are like me, you're working this part-time, aka entrepreneur, shout out to Dr. Karen for, for, for that title, 
or you are doing this full time because you're fully committed, you bet on yourself and be like, yeah, I'm in this for the long haul, 100%. The reality is this, guys, that just like in life, there's going to be pitfalls. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be adversities that's going to come at you. And the thing is, <laughs> sometimes I think about it and I say, man, at one point, I wish I could just be like a robot sometimes, right? And just go, go, go and have no feeling and have no emotion and just be on, you know, just boom, right? And just fully immersed and not think about anything else that's going on in the outside world. Nothing that's going on in my personal life, right? Nothing that's going on with my family, right? Nothing like that to sort. But that's not reality. We know this. It's not reality at all. That would be in a perfect world. But think about how boring it would be if life was like that as being an entrepreneur. Just think about it, right? I come to you with this because being an entrepreneur of 11 going on 12 years, I didn't experience many ups and many downs. I experienced many highs and many lows. I experienced very, uh, I'm sorry, many victories as well as setbacks. And I tell you guys, this can be a real emotional roller coaster. <laughs> like, really. Especially, too, if you have a purpose and a mission and a vision. And you can see it as clear as day. And you want it so bad. You want it so bad. You can literally taste it, right? It's like you see it. Your eyes is on the prize, right? And you see it and you're like, okay, cool. This is what I want to do. This is where I want to be. This is how I can help. This is where my gifts and talents can make room for me, right? And you see it and you're super excited. But then at times, this thing called Murphy's Law. Right? What can go wrong will go wrong. This thing called life, right? Where maybe one of your family members may not be acting right. Or maybe you, your, your kids may just be going left. Right? Or whatever the case may be. Fi financial, emotional. Fill in the blank. My point in which I'm trying to get with each and every single one of you is that these experiences, I believe, are truly necessary. And why do I say that? I say that because what it does, it builds character. Case in point, when I first came up here to Atlanta, Georgia, and how the way I was abandoned, and I was in a homeless shelter, to even back it up a little, little bit more on how I was in the tr in actually the Greyhound station. And I only had about 24 hours before I was kicked out. Then had to go to the Salvation Army. Ha had to sleep on the floor with roaches and rats in the middle of the night. Running all through. And the only thing I had was just a, 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 a pillow and a thin sheet. To then going to the rescue mission and then to the Georgia Works Program, which was like an institutionalized um, shelter, which we slept on hard metal floors. Trying to figure out this thing called life, trying to, trying to really wrap my mind and my brain around like, okay, I'm not in a prison, but I'm in a prison. Being around all types of individuals from murderers, thugs, killers, rapists, right? Prostitutes, pimps, you name it was all around that. To try many different business ventures, having highs, having lows, doing all the things 
in the beginning that you're not supposed to do as an entrepreneur, such as spamming and really just doing amateur stuff to people that you seriously thought was your number one cheerleader, your main rock, your support system that truly understand and get you would then be your number one villain and will be spewing lies and hatred all on your social media feed and doing everything they can to destroy your reputation. To in this process of being an entrepreneur, sacrificing and betting on yourself and investing literally the house, betting on that this is going to work and then come to find out the deal doesn't go through. The venture doesn't work. The company shuts down. You lose commissions. To experience all those things, life of an entrepreneur, folks, it's not for the faint of heart. What it does, and this is what I discovered, not only does it build character, but like what Ms. Cheryl mentioned last night, it builds that resilience and that toughness and never giving up. Also, for me personally as being an entrepreneur, it reintroduced me to my higher power. To understand that in order for this thing to work, in order for me to reach my truest potential as a human being, as an entrepreneur, as a CEO, as fill in the blanks, I'm going to, I had to, I had to rely heavily on him. Not on man, not on people, because as we know, man will always disappoint you. People will always will let you down, right? We'll always do that. It's just human nature. But to rely on something that's greater than myself, you see, what I had to learn and I had to humble myself is that he would give me the power to work out my gifts, to do what I can. But then what I can't do, he takes over. Entrepreneurship, and I, I, I want you all to really grasp this concept entrepreneurship is all about endurance it's all about staying into the end think about this think about this how many individuals that you know that start off fast i mean they start off successful in the beginning i mean they got all the accolades you know they got the mega fat bank account they got everything in the beginning right there was really no test there was really no adversities no struggle or anything like that whatsoever right they just like literally got it and there are individuals that have started right and like pew within the first couple of years first five years i mean they rocking they rolling they killing it you like man you've seen them all the publications you know they're doing interviews left to right everybody's looking at them as the greatest success story but also, too, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard and seen many individuals that because they haven't went through anything, they haven't been tested. When adversity did hit and when life started banging down their necks on how they folded like a pretzel. So what's my point of me even saying all that? What I'm saying is that if you are deciding to be an entrepreneur, or even if you're an entrepreneur right now, just know and understand that this is all about to the end. It's all about the legacy. And I want you to consider that too. Or how many ind individuals, how many entrepreneurs that you can think of, even from the past, such as from Walt Disney, Henry Ford, uh, whew, uh, let's see here. Uh, the guy from, KFC, Whew. Um, Steve Jobs, all these individuals, God rest their soul, right? They all realize that in order to be an entrepreneur and to be at the highest of the high, 
You have to be willing to pay a price. Are you willing to pay that price, guys? Because at some point, all of us is going to have to pay that price. It can even be from time away from my family. It can be from experiencing rejection again and again and again and again and again. It can be as far as for losing face. Whatever that may look like. What price are you willing to pay in order to make sure that your goals and dreams become a reality? To make sure that your vision and that the assignment which has been called and placed upon you. Yep, I said, yep, the assignment, your calling. Yep, as an entrepreneur, you have an assignment and a calling. I don't care what niche, what industry that you have, that you're a part of. But what price are you willing to pay? What are you willing to sacrifice in order to get to that next level? Hmm. You know, during this experience, I didn't have burnout, mental burnout. I was at times where I didn't know if I was even coming or going. There were times where I truly questioned the assignment that I had. There were times when literally, and I'm not joking what I'm saying is I'm keeping it a buck. There's been times where even the lights was cut off, right? And there was literally no food in the fridge. None. And I was sitting there wondering to myself, mind you now, I'm an entrepreneur, mind you now, you know, I got a full-time job. How in the world am I going to make it through? Hmm. thing called life right but then I get re reaffirmed that being an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart folks and what this does it separates those that want it from those that truly want it because you see, when you're an entrepreneur and when you're driven and when you have that calling, those that truly, truly want it, in spite of the circumstances, in spite of the adversities, they find a way to make it happen. There are individuals that see on what they're doing and may not say a word, may not say a word for you for quite some time. But then come out of nowhere, out of the blue, and bless you in ways in which will blow your mind. And I'm telling the truth. And can somebody validate that for me? Cheryl, can you validate that for me? Can anybody that's on this podcast right now, that's listening to the sound of my voice, can validate on what I'm saying? Because you see, social media... And TV has a way of really glorifying the good stuff. In which makes sense, right? Who really in their right mind is going to glorify entrepreneur as at times difficult, at times of uncertainty, of times of really sacrifice and commitment and grit, right? Who's really going to do that on a regular basis? Because think about it, that, that's not sexy. It's not popular. No, even in journalism, no. But those that are true entrepreneurs, those that know what I'm talking about, know what it's like of staying up an hour or two, right? Past their bedtime where they're literally super tired. Those that know what I'm talking about, that when they're doing a keynote presentation and they're so tired because for a week, two weeks in a row, they've been running it and gunning it, doing Keynote after keynote after keynote from city to city, hotel to hotel, and they are so tight out their minds that literally if they close their eyes, they would just drop, but yet they're doing their story and they're sharing their speech on autopilot because they understand it's not about them and they understand that this is just a price of a mission. Mmm. Let that sink in. I'm even going a little bit deeper, folks. 
those are, are even service-based entrepreneurs. This is for all my thought leaders. This is for all my servant heart leaders. These are for all my coaches, therapists, life coaches, spiritual coaches, whatever kind of coach you think about, right? My, my change agents. These are individuals that know in their heart of hearts, if I don't create that post, if I don't do that broadcast, if I don't make that phone call, then guess what? The world suffers just a little bit more because I was too selfish or too lazy or too quote unquote busy to do that. Mm. Let that sink in. Hmm. I think I made my, my point, Miss Cheryl. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out with this. Keep in mind. In the life of an entrepreneur, a doe it has its ups and downs, and a doe it has, has its adversities and it has its challenges, financially, emotionally, at times spiritually, fill in the blank. But if you ask me, Sean, eleven years ago, when you had that opportunity by one of your fellow coworkers when you was in sales and marketing. To become an online marketer. And by you doing that, you're going to experience all these challenges, all these ups and downs, emotional roller coasters, but yet you will build partnerships, you will build relationships, you will be able to build a brand and a legacy that will outlive you and to restore your family name in a positive light. And that when any time that they speak about the white family, they would speak with such reverence and pristine and respect. Would you do it? And I would say in a heartbeat. No hesitation. But Sean, don't you understand that there's going to be people that's going to reject you? Don't you understand there's going to be people that's going to turn their back on you? Don't you understand that you're going to lose time, money? Effort. A lot of different things is going to go on. That you may even end up in the hospital. Your health may even be affected by it. You sure you want to go through that? You absolutely sure. And I would say it in a heartbeat. Why, man? Why go through all that? Why? The answer is very simple. It's not about me. And folks, it never was. I hope that somebody got some value out of this. I really do. Maybe you can find yourself in this equation. Maybe you may know someone that's in this situation. Or maybe you are sitting back and you are counting the costs. On whether you really want to be an entrepreneur or do you want to play around and fancy the idea of being an entrepreneur? I like to call those wannabe entrepreneurs. Either way, it's fine. It's what you perceive to be true. Either way, it's fine. But for me, being an entrepreneur and being all in on your gifts and talents, being all in on the assignment and the calling that's been given to you, being all in on building that brand and that legacy and doing as far as on what it takes morally, of course, and willing to count the costs in order to do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Until then, folks, this has been another episode here of Transformation Greatness along with the Small Business Network podcast. I appreciate 
each and every single last one of you, those that's on the live and that's going to be catching this as far as on the replay. If you have found value in any way, by all means, I would appreciate it if you can share this out or maybe even tag someone that can benefit from this during the holiday season. And also, too, folks, I'm um, being a lookout because tomorrow with the Small Business Network show, we're going to be airing at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check your local listings for that. I'm definitely going to be sharing it on my page so you can just come on in and really just enjoy the great conversations in which that we be having. And so I appreciate that so much. Until then, family, if what I stated on here either motivated, transformed, or inspired at least one person, at least one person, but may God be the glory, and I take no credit for absolutely none of it. Until then, you're all amazing. Thank you so much for your time during this Friday evening. By His grace and mercy, look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. Peace and love, family. Have a good night. Thank you so much.